Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Taco Chronicles. My name is Nick. And I'm your girl, Cheyenne. And today we're checking out El Zarape Mexican Restaurant on Park Boulevard. So let's talk about it. So Cheyenne, what kind of tacos do you think you're gonna get at El Zarape? <laughs> So they have like scallop and salmon and even lobster tacos. They have lobster tacos? Yes, they do. Um, but main I'm lobster? Not, I don't know. <laughs> but the mainer in me kind of wants a lobster taco. Oh. Cool. I'm excited to get in there. Me too. Oh. So we've got a carnita pork. You got calamari, fried calamari, and mahi mahi. And then over here we have another calamari and a shredded chicken, which looks really good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. And they also gave us, um, well, it didn't give us, but we had the option of getting a bunch of different sauces. So this one, I believe, is a cilantro guacamole sauce. Um, it definitely tastes. That's like, what it tastes like, at least. Yeah, guacamole yeah. and cilantro. This one kind of tastes like marinara. It's a more tomatoey, pasty mm -hmm. salsa. This one over here is your regular salsa with your cilantro, tomato, onion. Then also they had cucumbers and these carrots that were soaking in. Like pickled or something? Or? I think they're, yeah, I think they're pickled carrots. They're really good. And of course, your limes. Yeah, they taste pickled. Yep. And then cucumbers, yeah, which is interesting. I'm excited for cucumbers on the taco. So which one are you eating first? So, it looks like calamari. It's the one in the center, so I figured why not. And I'll put some cucumbers on there as well. And Number 20? So, corn tortilla. Pretty much, I think all places we have been have been corn tortillas, which is you know standard for an authentic uh, taco. There we go. Number seven, California burrito. Wow, you must really like that one. So, it's like lettuce, cheese, calamari, now cucumber as well. Um, it's good. Um, fried calamari is fried nicely and it tastes really good. It's you know, not too salty, just the right amount of salt. Um, tender, it's a good taco. Not, not much more you can say about it. So, it looks like we got on the mahi mahi um, cabbage. Um, what is that? Sour cream, tastes like. Um, there's, a, there's a picture of the fish right there. Looks nice and flaky and tender. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good fish. All right, I'm gonna get some of just this regular salsa on there. Oh yeah. All right. So yeah, pretty basic, you know, tomato, uh, cabbage, mahi-mahi, a little bit of cilantro I see there. Here we go. <laughs> wow, all the juices are just coming right out. Yeah. I mean, I said in the last episode, I'll say it again, you know, fish is probably my favorite. Um, meat to put in a taco and you know once again still good fish is tender salto is good um, not you know impartial to cabbage you know on a taco but you know overall nice. good. going to put on hmm I think this guac 
tasting salsa on the shredded chicken first. Put some on there. This chicken, it looks like it was cooked in a salsa sauce. Um, if you zoom in here, you can see all the juices and all the flavor. Here we go. Very full taco. Yep. Lots of lots of filling. I was just gonna say that. It is very good. The chicken is good, not dry. It has very good flavor. It's a little bit spicy, but the perfect amount of spice. There's tomatoes on it, cheese. It's a delicious taco. So, uh, third one I got is uh, carnita. So, got some pork, avocado, rustic guacamole. Guacamole, actually. You can see it's been pretty um, like pureed. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have uh, tomatoes, you know, so it seems like um, the general uh, theme with tacos here at El Zarape is that they're like all three ingredients. It seems like I think on all three of my tacos, there are three ingredients, which, you know, you don't need a lot for a taco. So, you know, I like that. Um, this, this stuff right here is really good. It's like guacamole, you know, salsa, whatever it is. Actually, it's extra guacamole, I guess. And I'll put some of this one on too. Oh yeah, look at that. And then let's throw some more cucumbers on too. Nice. All right, and you can already see the juice from the uh, from the pork. So I think this one's gonna be pretty good. All right, look at that right there. Wow, that looks very good. That's a messy one. So the <clears throat> pork is tender. Um, you know, it it tastes like you know they cooked it, you know, in its own juices and just like scooped it right out. Yeah. Um, it's very good. You know, it's not dry at all. You know, like I said, it tastes like they just scooped it right out of. Um, you know, it's a vat, of, like its own juice. Um, so definitely very good. Probably um, probably the best out of the three. Even though I did say that I like fish on my tacos. Um, the fish was good, but I felt that it may have been a little under seasoned. But the pork, tender, flavorful, juicy, uh, very good. So, definitely my favorite out of these three. So, I would say if you're in the neighborhood, definitely check out El Zarape. All their tacos that we had were filled completely with meat. Um, it was very delicious. I had the chicken taco and the calamari taco, and they both had a lot of flavor. And the salsas that we added onto it also had a lot of flavor. So there was a lot of cilantro and a lot of like pepper um, and just those Mexican flavors all throughout the tacos. For that reason, today I'm going to rate it 6 out of 10 tacos. You know, I would say that they're pretty good. Um, nothing amazing, but also, you know, not too shabby. So I definitely say that if, like you know, like Cheyenne said, if you're in the area... I think El Zarape, you know, would be a nice place to stop and get some tacos. They also have burritos, um, but obviously this is a taco show. So, um, but anyways, um, I got a calamari, a uh, carnita, and a mahi-mahi taco. Um, although they actually got my order wrong. I asked for a mahi-mahi, a carnita, and a... Um, a scallop. Yeah, and a scallop taco. And they, they gave me a calamari, which... Um, we would have been able to review more tacos had my order been correct, but it's okay. Um, but anyways, the, uh, pork, the carnita, uh, was probably the best taco that I had. Um, it was, you know, it was juicy, it was tender, um, you know, it tasted like, you know, it had been soaking and, you know, in juice for a long time and, you know, they just took it out and put it around, put it straight on the taco. Um, you know, the flavors in the mahi-mahi were very good. I mean, it was tender, but there wasn't a lot of it. Um, which is kind of too bad because it was a lot of cabbage, um, but not a lot of fish, uh, which was kind of disappointing. 
Um, and the calamari was good. Um, I, you know, I, the fry on it was really nice. You know, it was flavorful. Um, once again, not a lot of it. But the pork one, very good. Um, if I had just eaten the pork, um, the rating would probably be higher. But um, it's not a good representation of a restaurant if I only try one taco. So, you know, based on it all, um, I'm going to go ahead and give El Zarape a 5.75 tacos. And so based on our individual reviews, we've decided to give El Zarape a 5.88 tacos out of 10. There you go. You heard it here in episode three of Taco Chronicles. A 5.88 tacos for El Zarape. Not bad, but... Still gotta... looking for that 10. Definitely. We'll see you next time on Taco Chronicles.